Let's make this shape in FreeCAD. Possible applications for this shape would be something like support legs for a water tower, fuel injectors for a rocket engine, viewports for spacecraft, several applications that are handy additions to anyone's design toolbox. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is make a sphere. And we can do that in the part design workbench or the part workbench. It really doesn't matter, it's personal preference. I'm not gonna be worrying about dimensions for this example. This is basically just for illustrative purposes. So delete our redundant constraints. Let's revolve this. Okay, I'm gonna add datum plane. I'm gonna use this plane as a reference. And let's move this, oops, let's move this up to about right there. Let's add another datum plane. I'm gonna move this down. Let's move it right there. Okay. So now go into part. And I'm going to be using this tool, Slice to Compound. This will allow me to slice this part and basically inscribe an edge all the way around the sphere where the datum is intersecting with the sphere. So let's use this tool. So select the sphere first and the datum plane next and then slice to compound. You see how it has this kind of a inscribed edge that's all the way around the sphere. That can be really handy later on when we do some sketching on this sphere. So let's do the same thing for this datum plane down here. So select the sphere and the datum plane. Slice to compound and then go back into part design. We're gonna create a new body. Drag this slice into that body. So that's gonna create a reference back to the original slice that we just did. I'm gonna unhide the origin. And let's say we wanna sketch on this plane. So select it and then create sketch. I'm going to view section. It's a sectional view of the, the plane I'm sketching on. I can select this button, view sketch. That will make the view perpendicular to the sketch plane. And I'm going to bring in this edge. And then create a line. I'm going to bring that all the way out here. I'm going to constrain this vertex with this vertex a little later on. I'm just having this um, edge, this line here, this edge, all the way out here. Uh, because it's easier to select this vertex when it's not attached to the sphere. So it's just for convenience purposes. I'll show you what I mean. So select datum. Select the first reference, which is the edge. And then select the second reference, which is the vertex and then select normal to edge. Okay. Now go back into our sketch. We can combine these two points. Okay. So now we have a datum plane that's attached to the edge of a sphere. So now we can use this to sketch. Let's do that. 
So select the data plane, create sketch. You notice that the sphere is in front of the data plane. That's not what I like. I would much rather have the data plane in front of the sphere. It's easier to see what's going on when I'm sketching in this orientation rather than this orientation. So to do that, well, I'll try to do it, is just rotate the data plane 180 degrees. Sometimes that works. Nope. Oh no, it did work actually. So let's create a circle here. Close. Let's pad the circle. And then I'm going to revolve this pad, make a polar pattern. And we're going to be revolving around the Y axis. Let's say we have eight instances. That looks pretty nice. Now let's add the legs. So to do that, let's just add a data plane. And we're gonna select this inscribed edge around the sphere as our reference. Press okay. Select on the datum plane, create sketch, and same problem. I would m much rather be viewing the sketch from this angle rather than this angle. So just go back into the datum plane and rotate 180 degrees. And that should solve the problem. Many times you need to open it twice, I don't know why. Okay, so let's uh, view section. Now I'm going to bring in this edge here. Okay. Create an arc. And go all the way up to where that edge is that I brought in. I'm going to create a new arc. then combine the two arcs. Let's make these two lines equal. Okay, now let's just pad that. Let's just go right down there. Okay, now I'm going to make a polar pattern of that pad I just made. And this is in the Y axis. And let's also make eight of these occurrences. There you go, as simple as that. Thanks to one of my subscribers, Jesus Chow, for inspiring this video. And thanks to everyone that's already subscribed to my channel. It really means a lot to me. If you'd like, leave a comment down below saying that you subscribed. I really like the feedback and have a good one.